Alright, first of all, I'm dizzy. Second of all, that was really dangerous with me. But hey, you gotta fucking put yourself in the middle sometimes to just get all the action, right? Sheesh! Alright everybody, what's up? This is a, another video um, here with my boy off balance. He's just chilling over there. We just came through over here to do a photo shoot. My boy's on his way and shit. And I'm actually just enjoying the car at this point because the cooling system is a bit better. Um, I had to get some help from it. I had to get some help with it because the bleeding is kind of like harsh and like I'm not there yet with the whole BMW crap and this dude's just about to do some crazy like always. He wildin' bro. He's hot boy. He's a low-key hot boy. But this shit's fire. He's really making me want to like boost my car and everything like that. Overall like it's... I've seen this thing from like almost stock. So it was, it's been a pleasure to like watching him build it and yeah I am do it up The build speaks for itself. Um, he's just well driven to just build it, you know what I mean? And just to his liking and just do what he wants, you know what I mean? Like, I really admire that about him and shit. And makes me want to do it. Makes me want to boost it and everything like that. I definitely got to take care of some maintenance first, but. Motivation. So. What's next for this? I really don't know. Other than all the maintenance, like I'm saying. Um, buttoning it, but, buttoning it up. <laughs> like, button it up. Put everything it needs to just survive. I want to make it more bulletproof and stuff like that. I know these cars are, like, temperamental. and I just need to get it to that point. You know what I mean? But I'm trying to lay low right now. Just do everything else that I need to do. I feel like I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it other than that trim that keeps coming off that I gotta like finally just do it but um would love some more camber in the rear to just tuck it and slam it a bit more but that's pretty much it I'm in love with my rear end now that the clears are on and good This dude's wild. Everybody over here is even like in shock. Dude said, whoa. See, I don't think I'll be doing crazy shit like that, man. But at this point, I'm just doing coverage of him sliding and shit. And <laughs> I don't know, man. He's a beast. He's a beast. It's definitely seat time. He has a lot of seat time. He should definitely bring it out to a, a drift composition. What do you guys think? We'll just go ham. All right, cool guys. Just to pretty much wrap it up, we just came to this other location. Location is not gonna be disclosed. It's pretty low key. Marcos is uh taking pictures of his car, which looks fire in this lighting right here. Um, what are these all? Solar panels? Nah, they're just green, bro. bro, I bro, they're solar panels. Are they? Yeah. Right? Yeah, you're right. But, um, yeah, man. Yo, you got a dope car, bro, for real. Love, Love your car. Me. Thank you. You heard me? <laughs> he said, Oh, me? Forget right about it. Built. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I bro. I spent a penny on uh, flavor. Facts. You did it pretty much all yourself, right? Bro, everything.
everything. But that's how it is, bro. You fucking learn from it. You know what I mean? You're yeah. you're doing it. You're wrenching yourself in. You know what I mean? It may cost a little more at the end, but hell it's yeah. Satisfying. Yeah, dude. You can say you did it yourself. You painted the car yourself. You pretty much did every little thing on this car yourself, bro. Yeah, right? Everything. The only thing I didn't do was a clutch three years ago. I had to work. Yeah. And I it was my daily at the time. But you. Yeah. So I dropped it off at um. My boy shop, they did the clutch in one day. Yeah. I picked it up, but that's the only thing I've had done on this thing at a shop. But that's reasonable, bro. You needed it at that point because you drive it every day, right? Yeah, I needed to go to work and I was like, shit. I dropped it off real early, like, I think 5 a.m. He had it done by, like, by that afternoon, I think it was done. I would have did the same shit, yeah. bro. But. but I mean, that's quick, you know, that's not really. Yeah. It's nothing great. Nah, dude, from the suspension yeah, to the body work to the paint yep. to the wheels. Custom turbo kit. Custom turbo kit, all of that, dude. Like yeah. the front and rear bar, bro. I, I love that shit a lot. I feel like it, it gives it a lot of character. Yeah, I, I, I like it a lot. That's probably one of my favorite mods. Cause you don't see too many people doing that, bro. Nobody wants to get rid of their bumpers, and you, see, that was the issue, you so. got it. Yeah, you got it. This, this nigga well, said. I was gonna do the GTA 6 front bumper. Yeah, like. 2019 mm. Cause it's the same body style, right? Pretty much. Yes, it fits the same. Uh. But that was like 500. Yeah. Yeah, it was like, this just looks better, bro. You're more unique. So I was like, I'm either gonna pay 500 or pay 280. These bugs are killing me. For this thing. Yeah. And I can keep my other front bumper just for when I want it. Yeah. It's either pulling up, looking like every other GT86, right? Mm -hmm. That pulls up, or you're gonna come like pull up unique. Yeah, that's. And why. you chose that route. Yeah, that's why I didn't do the front bumper and I didn't do the bumper pieces. Yeah. Because I just don't like them. Well, it looks unique, bro, and I fuck with it. I love how you did the hood. The hood really like gave it its character as well. Because. Most people go for that hood scoop, right? That you could add a hood scoop to this, right? In a way? Like the, um, no, they do vents that are like pre-made, you drill them in. Mm. But um, I think a people do for like looks. the WX style hood scoop. Okay. The newer style that like goes in. Oh, it's, really, it's a thing? It's, it, it's a, what makes that side on? Yeah, side yeah. It's like a similar, similar kit. Man. Bro, those, those are mosquitoes. Yeah, I know. They just bit the crap out of my ankles, bro. I'm screwed. I know there's some crap that I could do, you know, some vinegar, some crap. I heard some crazy shit, but other than that, man, I fucking fuck with this shit, dude. New kit's crazy. It just like follows the body line better. Like this right, this line right here is everything, bro. Yeah, that's my favorite part, honestly. You know, like we were talking about earlier, if you was to sell it, you wouldn't really know what you'd get next. Okay. I feel the same way. I would, honestly, I'd probably get a 350Z or a G35. Yeah. And just build and boost that because I do like, I like how they look, you know? Yeah. And they're a lot stronger, the trainees. And oh, the platform for it is fucking humongous, dude. Yeah. There's it's a, it's plenty of parts. Heavy, you know? Yeah. So you can do top speed shit and it's uh, okay. This thing on the highway, once I pass third gear, it's like, it feels like the wind's about to lift it. Oh, shit. Nah, but I mean, I'm sure there's some like aerodynamic type of shit that you can do to like, do, like prevent that. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. I never liked the well, like some crazy like splitter up front to make you like lower. You know what I mean? Like to make it like so less air goes. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Bro, with some ABS plastic, bro, all day. Nah, this is getting out of hand. The bugs, like I I'm pretty sure you guys can't see these tiny ass bugs, but they're like biting at us, dude. And it's bad. Oh, you don't have to, bro, but if you want, cool. I'm over here drooling your car and shit. It's just fucking crazy. Well, for you guys that don't know, the car used to originally be black, and then it went from, like, kind of like a Nardo gray, and then now it's this purple. What is it, the 300 ZX? What? The, the purple. Yeah. Yeah, so you went with an original paint code from a Nissan 300 ZX. Um... It's a purple. It looks like kind of like a rhino purple. I don't I don't know how what you call it, but it looks great. Uh, choice of color on wheels is fire too. You tell me about it. Look at that. It's like perfect. That's a shot right there. Massive lips. I think what they're like six inch lips. I fuck with it, man. This is my homie. I don't mess with too many people, so. And to hear this thing whine, dude, it's crazy. It's another review, pretty much just showing my boy's car, nothing major. It's just, we outside, we just trying to do different things, you know, so. 
shout out to Off Balance. I'm going to put his link in the description and all that. And yeah, peace.